All right, now for the next step of the process, we want to get our two hard drives connected to their power connections. So we're going to grab our cable that we're going to use for this. So here we've chosen a modular connection to our power supply that comes with three SATA power connections. And we're going to hook this up so, um, down here on the bottom to both our SSD and our one terabyte hard drive with the hopes of keeping the cabling very clean and out of the way. So let's go ahead and first plug this into each the hard drive and the SSD Do the hard drive first. You want to make sure that you line up the power connection correctly. You can see it's kind of an L shape. We want to line that up with the L shape on the hard drive power connection. It's kind of hard to see there. But it does have an L shape. You'll just want to make sure you look and make sure that's matched up. So you're putting it on correctly. Get it in place, push it on. And we'll do our next one. Do the same thing. And get it in place. And then push it on so it's nice and secure. Let's see how we've done that there. And then we want to take this other end and we want to get this plugged in to our power supply. Again, this is a modular power supply, so we have connections we can plug in and not plug in. Uh, other power supplies are going to come with all the connections that they have already hardwired, so you're not going to be able to make changes to uh, those types of power supplies. Okay, this lined up properly down here. Just push it into place. And then when we're down here, we're going to go ahead and secure these lines together to try to keep a nice clean install going. Just using a simple twist tie for this. If you have zip ties or anything like that, you can use those as well. place and we're ready for the next step of the cable running 